In this video, I'll show you exactly how to buy treasury bills step by step. By the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to know about T-bills, as well as the high interest rates that you guys can get on your money. And yeah, with inflation these days, you do not want to have your money in a normal checkings account. Rather, put your money to work. And yeah, right now, T-bills are a great investment because they're paying out very high interest rates. So we'll be covering a lot of different things in this video. And if you want, you guys can pause the video on this slide and see exactly what we're gonna cover. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first, what are treasury bills? Treasury bills, also known as T-bills, are short-term debt securities. These are issued and backed by the federal government. And yeah, you guys probably know this, but when things are backed by the government, this means they are much lower risk investments. T-bills always have short-term maturity rates, and they range from four weeks to one year. The most common maturity terms for T-bills are gonna be four, eight, 13, 17, 26, and 52 weeks. Right now, the minimum investment amount for treasury bills is $1,000. Now let's talk about how T-bills actually work and how they can make you some money. Well, when you buy a T-bill, you are basically giving a short-term loan to the government. The government takes that money, they use it however they want, and they pay you back with interest at the end of the maturity term. So more specifically, these T-bills, they have a face value. What you're going to be doing is you're buying T-bills at a discount. This is called the discount rate. And then when the T-bill matures, you get your investment back plus the discounted rate as your return. So let's say you're buying a T-bill with a face value of $10,000. Let's say the discount rate on this bill is 3% with a maturity term of 52 weeks. Basically what's going to be happening here is you're going to be buying the T-bill for $9,700, right? This is 10,000 minus that 3% discount rate. And after one year, when that T-bill matures, the government is going to basically pay you back that $9,700 plus $300. So you'll be getting your full $10,000. Now, what are the advantages of T-bills? Well, first, there's virtually zero risk of losing your initial investment. These are government back. So, you know, the chances of it's not going through are very, very low. They're also exempt from local and state taxes. And guys, this is a really, really big one because when you buy normal investments like stocks and crypto, you're basically going to be paying federal and state taxes. So if you're a high income earner and you're in a state like California, that's up to like 13.3%. So yeah, that's another big advantage of T-bills. And the third thing is that they can be bought in smaller amounts than many other investments. So this makes them very accessible to retail investors. Now, there are some disadvantages of T-bills. The first is that they have a lower rate of return than some other investments. So if you look at the historical performance of the stock market, that's generally going to be a little bit higher than T-bills. But with inflation right now so high, T-bills are actually paying out around 5% interest. But of course, that might change depending on when you guys are watching this video. They're also not exempt from federal tax. So this is not you know, a fully taxed advantage investment. But that's not actually a big disadvantage because of course, you don't need to pay state taxes like we talked about. And then third, T-bills are bought via a bidding through an auction process. So this can be competitive or non-competitive and you might not actually get what you want. But I'll show you guys later on in this video how you guys can actually go through this process. Okay, ultimately, uh, T-bills, they're great for a specific purpose, right? It's a very low risk, accessible and steady investment option. Right now with treasury bill rates really, really high, these are getting extremely popular and lots of investors are parking their cash in these types of investments. Now let's cover the differences between bonds versus notes versus bills because this is a question that I definitely had. And yeah, it's definitely good to know. So with T-bonds, these are very long-term investments, right? They have maturity rates of between 20 to 30 years. They're also known as long bonds. These generally have higher interest rates. And basically what's going to happen is you'll receive fixed interest payments every six months when you buy a T-bond. Now T-notes, these are a little bit shorter term, but definitely still longer than T-bills. They have maturity rates of between two to 10 years. And it's pretty similar to T-bonds. You get a biannual interest payment. And yeah, historically, Historically, 10-year T-notes have been really sought after. They've been a great balance between risk and reward, and they're heavily used as a benchmark for setting mortgage rates. And then finally, we have T-bills. Like I mentioned earlier, these are much shorter term investments. And right now with T-bill interest rates at around 5%, they are an extremely attractive investment option. Now, there are three main different ways that you guys can invest in treasury bills. The first is directly through the government uh, by buying on Treasury Direct. This is run directly by the US Department of Treasury. And on this platform, it's very easy to to buy, hold, and redeem treasury debt securities. The second way to buy T-bills is through the secondary market. You can buy T-bills on most of the main online brokers. For example, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, and more. And all these platforms, they offer new issued treasuries without fees. Now, later on in this video, I'll show you guys exactly how that works. And the third option is instead of buying T-bills directly, you can invest in ETFs that actually just invest in T-bills. So let's talk a little bit more about Treasury Direct. This is really great if you don't have a brokerage account and are not 
not looking to set one up. It's also good if you're looking to hold treasuries until maturity because you aren't allowed to actually exchange them on Treasury Direct itself. It's also a great place if you want a safe, virtually risk-free platform for investments and if you want full ownership and control over your treasuries. Here's what the Treasury Direct website looks like. I'm not going to show you guys exactly how to, you know, buy a T-bill step-by-step on this platform, but it's super easy and we'll link a tutorial down in the description below. Now, like I mentioned earlier, another way to buy Treasury bills is through an online broker. And this might be good for you if you want to buy and actually sell treasuries instead of actually waiting to the maturity date. It's also good if you want to use your own treasuries towards the buying power of other securities. You can purchase from a higher pool of treasuries that are being sold right before maturity, or it's also good if you don't want to open up a Treasury Direct account. See, so yeah, a lot of you guys might already have access to an online broker like Vanguard or Charles Schwab. And yeah, you can directly buy treasuries on your existing platform. And then the third way is of course buying ETFs. This is really, really easy. It's just like buying stocks. It allows you to hold basically treasuries with more liquidity because of course you can sell that ETF at any time you want. Or if you want to invest in a broader treasury market than just one or a few treasuries alone, right? Like a lot of these treasury ETFs, they also hold bonds and notes as well. Here's some of the more popular treasury ETFs that you guys can consider. All of these are gonna be available to purchase on any stock platform. So yeah, if you wanna use something like Webull or Moomoo, that's gonna work. But if you guys haven't gotten Webull or Moomoo yet, they're actually giving away a ton of free stocks when you guys use my link down below. And I highly, highly encourage you guys to claim those free stocks because these promotions don't last forever. So right now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to buy one of these ETFs on Webull. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here Go to search and let's look up OBIL. We'll click on this. You guys can see the price chart here. You guys can learn more about it. But if you basically just want to trade it, you can click here, trade. We can set the order type. So let's just do a market order for this video. Set the quantity. So let's say we want to buy three and then click buy right there. Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually look up the auction schedule for treasury bills. So we'll link this down below. But basically, if you go to home.treasury.gov, you'll be able to find this auction schedule and you'll see when these bills are being sold. I'm not going to go too much into detail over this, but basically you'll see the security type, you'll see the announcement date, the auction start date, as well as the final settlement date for that treasury security. Yeah, you, know, you guys can scroll through here, find the investment that you guys want, and see when the next auction starts. Now in this next section, I'm gonna show you guys how to buy treasury bills at auction, which is actually the way that I recommend doing this. I'll show you guys how to do this on vanguard.com, but the process is very similar no matter what uh, platform you guys are using. So I'm here in my brokerage account, and what I'm gonna do is come here to transact, and what we're gonna do is come down here to to trade bonds. We'll select the account that we want to purchase them in, click continue. And then what we're gonna do is come here to treasuries. Make sure you select auction right here. And this is gonna show us the different treasury bills, notes, and bonds that we can buy. Now, as you guys can see, all these treasury bills are not yet available to buy as I'm filming this video. So we don't have any buy buttons right here, but you guys can see some of the notes and bonds are available. Now with the rates right now, these bills are the best option probably. And what you're gonna want to do is look at the auction open right here. This is when the auction is going to start for that particular bill. So let's say we want to buy a two month US Treasury bill. We're going to come here. We'll see that the auction opens for this on March 7th, 2023. And the auction cutoff time is March 9th at 12 a.m. Eastern time. Now over here on the very right, that's going to be the indicated yield. And you can sort of think of that as the APY for this investment. Now in this one, they aren't showing it, but we should be able to see that once the auction opens. For example, down here for the three year US Treasury note, you guys can see the indicated yield is 4.604%. And yeah, once this auction opens, there's gonna be the buy button right here and you'll be able to click on that and easily purchase the quantity that you want. For example, I know this is not the actual T-bill that we want, but I was able to click buy on this one and we can select the order amount and then click continue. Now, like I said earlier, T-bills are one of the safest investments that you guys can make, but this does not mean that they're absolutely risk-free. So let's discuss what some of those risks are. The first is the market risk. So when the economy is really good or we are in a bull market, stocks may actually become a better investment because they often return greater returns. And in a market like this, T-bills are going to be less attractive. The second is opportunity cost, right? So with lower returns for T-bills, you're potentially missing out on better returns elsewhere. Right now in today's economy, T-bills have very high interest rates. And that's why a lot of people are storing their money in T-bills rather than stocks right now. So third is inflation, right? And when we have really high inflation, this is going to eat into the profits that come with T-bill investments. And fourth, with rising interest rates, 
there may be more attractive interest-based securities elsewhere. So right now with interest rates really high, you can often get similar returns by just putting your money into online savings accounts. And that just means that you're skipping out on the hassle of having to buy T-bills. Now what causes treasury bill rates to fall? This happens when the discount rate doesn't keep up with the inflation rate. Higher interest rates lead to investors seeking higher yield investments. And your overall inflation poses the greatest risk to T-bill values. So now that we've covered the fundamentals of treasury bills, are they a good investment? Well, in my opinion, yes, T-bills are a good investment, especially right now. They're very, very low risk, right? They're backed by the government. It's a very simple investment to make, as I showed you guys. The whole concept of T-bills is very, very simple and it just makes sense. And yeah, typically in bear markets or when the economy is not doing as well, that's when T-bills and other treasuries are really sought after. So let's talk about the actionable steps that you guys can take right now. First, you'll want to determine how much money you want to invest. And although T-bills are much, much safer than investing in stocks and crypto and other things, just be aware that any investment has some type of risk. Then you'll want to determine how you want to invest in T-bills. Do you want to directly purchase T-bills until maturity? Do you actually want to buy and sell T-bills on the secondary market? Or do you want to invest in T-bills through ETFs? Then you're going to want to determine where you want to invest. So either through Treasure Direct, through an online broker, or just by buying an ETF on whatever stock platform. So yeah, that's basically how you buy Treasure Bills. Right now, we're in a very interesting time when treasuries are paying higher rates than CDs. This is often not the case, but in today's economy, that's just what's happening. And yeah, that's why I hold a lot of my money currently in treasuries. Now, the way that I recommend buying treasuries, like I showed you guys, is not by buying on the secondary market. When you're doing this, you're paying higher fees. And since T-bills are offered on auction so frequently, that's why I recommend just wait until an auction date becomes available and buy new issue treasuries. It's super easy and it literally just takes a couple of minutes. So yeah, go look at the auction dates, figure out which treasury bill works for you. And yeah, just buy new issue treasuries directly on your online brokerage account. That for me is the easiest way. But of course, if you want the lower minimum of $100 to invest, then you can of course buy on treasury direct. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys got some value from this video. Feel free to reference this video at any time. And yeah, happy, happy investing. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. I make a ton of content about investing, personal finance, and entrepreneurship. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.